Hey there, this is Knowledge for All educational videos and tutorials channel. In this video today we are continuing with learning Game Maker Studio 2. We are trying to learn um, a new drag and drop block which is called wrap around room. So let's go uh, straight to the point, straight into our game so far. So uh, we only coded a few actions, few me uh, mechanics into our game so we can move our player left and right we can uh, exit our game here with this button and these spikes are like some kind of enemies which fall down on our player so first of all i want to uh, see what i don't need here in my uh, scene i have uh, two uh, players obj uh, Two and OBJ player one. Uh, the f uh, the the one above is uh, moving continuously. So when I hold and press my key, it goes straight left and to the right. As much as I'm holding my uh, arrow keys on my keyboard, and the uh, uh, bottom one is moving in some uh, choppy ways like this. Uh, press and release, press and release, and it goes in some kind of uh, choppy movement step by step movement I don't uh, I want uh, to see that I don't need that in my um, uh, game uh, now so I will hide that uh, object from my scene I won't delete it you can delete it just select it here in the scene like this select it with your left click uh, the one you don't need and you can press delete uh, no big deal uh, but I'm not sure I um, um, I'm not sure maybe I will need it later so I will not delete it just uh, hide it and uh, I will okay I will select it like this and press this uh, check check mark here which will uh, hide it for some time until we unhide it okay so I have my obj2 uh, white player on the scene uh, which I can move continuously left and right but I want to add some code uh, for up and down too so let's see that uh, fast okay so I have key down left and key down ri right to move my player left and right so to move it up and down I will probably need key down up and key down down yeah it sounds funny but that's what it is key down up and key down down and uh, i will use the same technique as in previous videos uh, i will use jump to the, uh, to point because we have learned that uh, before i will go to uh, key down up event first add event like i did here then into event uh, click here into this uh, window and then find the uh, movement code blocks um, here it is and find uh, jump to point and drag it and same for key down down uh, jump to point click and drag it to your left and then go and add uh, minus two for example let's start with that for uh, I think we have yeah we have uh, the movement on x axis was minus 2 and plus 2 for x uh, relative so we will use same for uh, y only we have to be careful is it plus or minus we have to check is that working let's go to our scene press run f5 to see what uh, we have made and see what uh, we have here okay the uh, enemies are falling down and I can press left and right to move left and right but also when I press up and down I go continuously and smoothly up and down I should have done this before let me see how this was uh, four minutes okay not so bad um, but uh, I wanted to show you first before we use new code block what this scene and this uh, player is working so far so if I go to the edge of the screen of our scene and I press left my player disappears it goes somewhere I don't know where I don't see it if I press right it will come back same with this 
right edge if i go to the right i disappear okay maybe that's good for some games maybe for some games it isn't if i go up i disappear and if i go down i disappear also so uh for some ga games as i just said that will be okay that will be cool you can say um, okay when uh, my uh, player goes out of the screen and uh, make him uh, uh, die make him lose his life maybe the game works like that maybe your uh, player cannot go out of the screen like this when you come to the edge you cannot move to the left not like this just this is uh, blocked in some kind of uh, movement and position same with up and down you can go up down or left or right maybe your game will work like that that's also okay we will learn that maybe later uh, but also there are some games like asteroids old game and some other which uh, have a very very special movement and um, that movement works in this way when the player comes to the left e uh, edge and moves over it he uh, instantly transports teleports here to the right and moves like this and same with the right edge when I come to the right edge and press right I just teleport here instantly and uh, show up here on the left edge so going left will make you uh, um, uh, make you teleport on the right and going right will make you teleport on the left and same with up and down going down out of the edge of the screen will teleport you to the top and going up above over the edge will teleport you to the bottom we will see that in action but just again let me repeat that is very very specific condition and it is used in some kind of games not very often like asteroids or some kind of i don't know maybe a specific um, funny cartoony um, platformers or something like that uh, not many games use it but uh, uh, people from game maker studio make it uh, make a game uh, code block for us to uh, have it uh, um, instantly to to uh, we don't have to code it from scratch so we will use that now and i will use it with my player but we can use it also with uh, we will show up uh, that also maybe with enemies or i don't know and uh, let's see how it works with the uh, player okay so first of all uh, we have uh, talked about uh, events a little bit uh, before and we said that uh, this uh, there are some kind of create and step events create event is only uh, played once so when you say, say when you add create event and put something in it it will only uh, do that action once but step event is very very i will add step event now it is very specific because this event will uh, check every frame of game so if our game game is running 30 frames per second that means that game maker will check step event 30 times per second so uh, you don't uh, you're not supposed to put many code in here because game maker will check it uh, 30, uh, 30 or more uh, frames uh, per second times per seconds uh, and uh, that way it will put a lot of effort uh, in it so it is like uh, asking and resolving uh, some kind of problem some kind of qu question over and over so if you for example put some condition and say check me this a game maker will try to do it thir uh, 30 or 60 times in second which is crazy so be careful what you put in here uh, i will put uh, our um, uh, block here because i want to check uh, for every second every part of the second is my um, player out of the screen like this or he is he in the screen or is he a bottom or above right or left out of the screen so i, I need to check that uh, all the time so i will use the step event if i needed to check that only once i would use create event but i need to check it all the time and again we have uh, seen so far that uh, there are so many blocks i think i have counted them like 200 or 300 of them so sometimes it's very slow to uh, find uh, what you need here in uh, co uh, drag and drop blocks so uh, one uh, 
faster way here is to just type what you need and when I uh, type wrap it will uh, show me uh, similar blocks with uh, that name so I have uh, someone uh, some block with WR so it's right right buffer right to any file I don't need that Ra uh, wrap around the room I need that so I will click and drag it here and I have uh, put that in my step event okay so I will um, uh, just leave it like this with the uh, uh, default state which says horizontal is checked on so that means it will check for my horizontal moment left and right am I out of the scene am I out of the room and vertical will check am I vert uh, is my vertical position out of the room or in the room so let's see with this default state how it works I will test the game and uh, I try pressing the buttons left and right and when I go to the edge of the screen look at this now I show up on the right and vice versa so this is cool for some kind of games um, maybe yeah it's like it seems like it is shifted a little bit up and down in its uh, vertical position but maybe I'm wrong and let's check the vertical position yeah it works like that you can see uh, how it snaps instantly like this and the top one is showing whole player and the bottom one is showing only the top of it uh, yeah so it works like that cool and uh, that's it uh, that's how you use it let me see just I forgot what this uh, uh, parameter margin is I think it will add some kind of uh, buffer let's try 20 for 20 pixels I think it will now um, make like some kind of invisible wall 20 pixels around the edge so when I count 20 pixels near the left edge it will uh, transfer uh, teleport me to the right and uh, no oh yeah 20 pixels that means that I can enter with my block uh, of player with my sprite 20 pixels probably to the right and only then my wrap around will work oh uh, yeah okay so we can try this our sprite player uh, one let's see how big it is it's 64 okay so our uh, sprite for player one uh, is 64 pixels wide and 64 pixels high so let's first try to see this once more time uh, uh, this means when the margin is zero that I will uh, the moment I touch the edge I will teleport to the other side so check out this so the moment I touch the edge I will uh, uh, go over the edge I will teleport to the other side yeah same with this button not uh, this yeah I know what happens uh, this will happen now instantly when I go uh, over the top edge instantly it goes up uh, and that's also because uh, my sprite player has its uh, uh, origin in top left so we can change that to top center or maybe uh, bottom center okay let's leave it top center is okay I think okay so uh, let's try that now and I will now change the margin margin uh, uh, after this test to 64 to see what yeah now I go uh, uh, now because my origin my center is uh, the center of the sprite uh, game maker lets me uh, go halfway through it and same will go probably here so I will go no the button works like yeah crazy anyway let's let me try with 64 I think that will make me the game maker me le uh, will let me uh, move all the way with my sprite to the left and then show on the right side yeah you can see uh, now because I have put 64 as margin that means 64 pixels I can go all the way with my player 
and even more and then only then I will show up on the screen. I should actually put this to because my top center is um, origin origin is here in my center of the of this white um, square top center I need it middle center sorry yeah now it will work and because my origin is now in center that means I have 32 pixels to the left and 32 pixels to the right and 32 pixels to the top and 32 pixels to the bottom so uh, I can use that knowledge to change this to 32 and I think uh, now it will work on all x yeah the whole uh, um, uh, uh, for example i wanted to make my game and not uh, teleport me instantly when i go a little bit over the screen but with my whole player so i will leave the option of my player making a change okay i don't want to go there let me go back if you need that so you have to go with your player all the way through the edge over the edge and same goes with top and bottom so i have now yeah so so now it works as i said uh, we had a few issues with uh, uh, origin i had to change my origin of sprite into the middle center so a uh, middle center is referent point now and the game maker use it to check how much of my sprite is over the edge so here because my my origin as it says as it says here is middle center and it's 32 pixels left and right from the that origin point i have used margin here 32 to to make it uh, uh, for my player to move all the way out of the edge to be able to move on the other side so i hope i didn't confuse you too much but uh, again if you don't need this very precise or very specific just leave zero and it will make your player snaps instantly when touching the edge and moving over it just a pixel or two like this so pixel or two to the left and i'm already on other side so that's it for this video again uh, 17 minutes too much uh, but we have learned a couple of new things other than uh, this block of wraparound room we have learned a little bit about uh, create and uh, step events a little bit about origin a little bit about uh, scenes rooms and so on okay see you in the uh, next video keep on learning keep on uh, making games